The Irish Guards have been given a send-off from the people of Windsor ahead of their deployment to Afghanistan. The locals lined the route through the town as the battalion marched to a family church service at St George's Chapel. Forces news reporter Julie Knox was there. More than 400 of the mix, accompanied by their famous Irish wolfhound, pounded the historic streets of Windsor. In a matter of days, these boots will be on the ground in Helmond. Since the earliest times, it's been a soldier's natural instinct to pray before conflict, to ease a troubled conscience, for courage under fire, for the safety of those left behind. And that's what the 1st Battalion Irish Guards Regimental Family is here to do. And that's what St George's Chapel in Windsor has pledged to do for the Guardsmen throughout the deployment. was lit on behalf of the families who remain and those deploying stood to be commissioned. Then back to Victoria Barracks with hundreds wishing them well. It makes you feel proud, it makes you feel wanted, uh, especially when you're going away for a long deployment like we're going on. It's, it's good to see that you've got support out and people backing you. The time together is precious at this stage. And what does it mean to you to be getting married just before the deployment? Oh, it means everything. It's just we, we get to be our time to say goodbye together and we know that I'm going to be there when he comes back. The battle group will be scattered with a couple of companies supporting Danish troops and the brigade advisory group training the Afghan National Army. With the withdrawal from Sangin, um, we're going to have a Kandak advisory team, some 20 or 30 people, who will now move down into the new Nadali North um, area um, and to the highway Kandak to advise and mentor the Afghans there. Are you excited about that prospect? Very much so. I think that's a really worthwhile role. Um, Highway 1 runs right through the middle of the British area. Um, there are 18 checkpoints on it. And mentoring and developing the Afghan National Army uh, who are on the highway is a key role. So we're very excited about that. With some already in theatre, the rest of the Irish Guards fly out in the coming days to prepare for the 16-air assault brigade handover. Julie Knox, Forces News, Windsor.